Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of GP Plays All the Games, this time with the Resist Jam. The Resist Jam is an online game jam about creating games that resist oppressive authoritarianism in all its forms and is in partnership with IndieCade. This game jam had a lot going on behind it. There were a ton of workshops that would help on game developers that do help game developers create games. You can check all of that out on the game jam page, as well as a load of awesome diversifiers that developers could choose to use in their game. I'm playing all of the games that were into this jam, about 10 per video for a minute each. Links to the individual games will be in the description. At the end, I'll have an article of my favorites. Thank you very much for watching and liking and commenting, and all my info is also in the description. Next. We're playing food plus water. Not oh, food and water, maybe. just kind of started last time. Alright, the city has been under siege for a long time. Most left. Those still here can't. Help coming soon. A few hours. Keep everyone alive. I'll try. Alright, arrow key is at next. Got it. Right. That's some food. You guys shouldn't be standing here. Yeah, you all kind of died. Here, have some food. You definitely look like you're dying. Okay. Carrying food. Do you want some? There you go. So I need to I need to pick up food and then just sort of give it to them. Don't die. There's plenty of food alive. People need food. Oh, I need to be careful because there's bombs happening. Oh, sorry. You want like an axe? I don't even know what an axe does. Here. Search around for food and water. I found water. Here. We wanted this. This is a tough game. You're happy? No, 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 no. Oh. Hmm. Next. We're playing Bleat the Wolf. You are a llama. Protect your sheep from the wolf by using politics. Sheep will move towards the politician they most agree with. Beware, not all sheep share your opinion. Hey, right, get ready. Alright, economy, let's see, let's do civil rights, the sheer number of sheep make feed times chaotic, we'll make sure our most valuable powerful sheep are first through. Alright, oh, I'm not fast enough, alright, nope, daily moves, gaggle of geese, guzzling grain, costing meadows gazillions. Alright, wait, we want this one, public service. I don't have time to read it some of the time. Science is the only way to better our future. We're dividing our funds. Physics research. Income. Close to allocate basic amount of... Yeah, let's do income. That'll be with more people, maybe. Alright. Field mice caught eating grain reserves. Oh, no. Nope, nope. Didn't want that. It's the, this one. Alright. Let's see. This one. We build a meadow across the border between our meadow and the paddock. No, let's pick this one. The fox is really getting some of them. 56. Oh, farmyard warning. Warming? A sham. Hoots Owl. Parliament. Right here. Public service. We want better connection to that farmhouse. That's this one. More wind turbines. Alright. Yeah, 246. Being threatened by the noise outside there. Let's invest in stars. Foot, foot and mouth running back to bite us from one's experts. Okay. Why are you going that way? Nothing happened. Science and culture. That is something about game jabs. Or as worried about our health as the lambs you are. Okay, so I don't think I got very many. I think the wolf got a lot. Power to the wolf. Darn it. Really fun, quick paced game. Next. We're playing NNC News with Tom Vanderkar. Sure. 21st of June. Graphics are really nice. 
urgent memor- memorandum for all employees. As all of you know, NNC News former chairman is retiring, and ex minister Mr. Edward Chaney has just been appointed as the new director. Due to the high competitivity of the information business, the fact this fact will surely be used by sensi- sensationalist media against our channel. We should therefore avoid the use of certain language from now on. Thank you for your dedication and patience. Ben Woods, a retired director appointment. So, retired director appointment. Okay. Got it. This is sort of like paper, please, but with news. You're watching NNC News with Tom Vandekar. <laughs> that sounded great. Uh, my own happiness bar, country statistics run by the International Data Institute. Just, I don't know why it's cut off a bit. I'm just using the in-browser stuff. Revealed once again. Little Cuba leads the... Some the charts. biennial happiness by country up. statistics that's, run that's by the International Data Institute have just been revealed. True. Once again, Little Cuba leads the charts, beating the runner-up, Denmark, the by three points. The police found a highly suspicious facility behind one of his cars. Repair shops. Okay, Local that's businessman fine. Mark Schultz is being They're investigated for no human trafficking after the police found a highly suspicious facility behind one of his car repair shops. Mark's uh, lawyer has stated sure. that his client had no knowledge of the any double business being run in the shadows down since he is currently in a coma. over copyright content by the company declared bankruptcy overnight. One of the biggest so, streaming well, websites has been taken yet, down following a controversial lawsuit statement? over copyrighted content. Okay. The company declared bankruptcy overnight. While the owners have fine. as yet refused to uh, make any statement on claim the film. So you have to listen, well, you have to sort of, director, we don't want director, uh, filmer, probably, a new head of, um, okay. Uh, you have to sort of read this while he's talking and figure Ramiro out what Fowler, needs to be changed. This is really nice. Acclaimed Feels film, quite nice. Filmer will be the new head film, of the National film, Cinema uh. Academy. According to an interview, the veteran filmmaker feels absolutely delighted <laughs> with global oh. warming I, I just i just had to put something in everything was happening fast is there something else no, that's fine probably Bursmer united continues their astonishing losing <laughs> streak sounded just as and confused after as me, seven games lost in a row the title contenders are placed in the danger zone okay. the fans over time this is going to get really hectic and the news is all going to be fake i'm just like replacing it with whatever i want <laughs> this is a really cool idea though next we're playing lesbianage. I like her hat. I've summoned you to my deep government hideout for a reason. I'm giving you special rights to infiltrate a red state. Your mission is to destroy their values and replace them with your own. Get to know your targets, they will become easier to compromise. You know I have no clue, not with her medical bills. Uh, you know I have no choice, not with her medical bills. I've already sold every iPhone we have. I expect you to be careful, ration your resources carefully. Some communications with your targets will be costly and emotional labor and drain your energy. You will be going under shortly. When you wake up, our drugs will have taken effect and you will have no memory of this meeting. I mean, I probably will, but she won't, so. Good morning, sleepyhead. You can't be spending all day in bed like that anymore. We're farmers now. I made you some juice. I love juice. Made me fresh juice. Let's go be a farmer. P.S. I like your hat. Welcome to the town, neighbor. I'm the sheriff in these parts. It's nice to make your acquaintance. Kiwi's freaking out in the background. Small town folk like make nice neighbors. They're not like those, you know, other folks, those folks that have been causing a lot of trouble since the election. Come into town to meet everybody, and I hope we get a chance to meet your husband, too. Um. I don't have a husband. Oh, I'm sure some nice man in town will win you over in no time. I'll keep an eye on you. Uh, my wife is really, really pretty, so you should rethink your statement. This town? This looks like a shop. Nope, don't go in there. Okay. Go to town. I should have invited my wife with me. And I find that a bit weird in um, games sometimes when your wife always stays home or your partner always stays home. I don't know. God, this is a really bad time. What's the matter? Oh, I'm Fred and I'm sick of this girl constantly putting me in the friend zone. 
You've got to be fucking with me. It's lovely weather we're having, isn't it? That's 20 energy points. Oh. Sorry, the weather isn't beautiful for me. Nothing but gray skies. Oh. No words left. Uh, friend zones. Who else do we have to talk to? This is why my wife stays home. Never mind, she can stay home. I don't know about this town. Can we even go this way? We can. We cannot. I feel like this game is going to be very interesting to play. Just because you're clearly dealing with people, which isn't something that happens in games often. You don't normally talk to people and go, oh, I'm just dealing with them. You think, oh, you know, I'm trying to get something out of it or hoping to get a quest or I don't know, something. But it doesn't feel like a struggle to talk to people except when you like tap a load of times to get through it. Anyway, next. We're playing Disrupt J20. There are two main metrics, uh, social capital and press coverage. The goal of the game is to maximize press coverage. You can do this, um, you can use social capital to recruit any of three types below. Each type has their own goal and generates their own blah, blah. Left click to select it, right click in the city to move it. You can also click on a car with a black block selected to attack it, blockade camp. Move. Okay, so Marge points Marge at game capital and press blockade. So stop people, black block. Destroy corporate property. Hmm. Okay. So probably come in here maybe. Come here. What's this? We like little black blocks. We don't have any press coverage, so why don't you guys come walk? Do you even want to walk this way? Because that's like towards other people. Oh, these are bad people, I think. Oh, we got some press coverage anyway. Can we go this way then? Where are the people here that I can play with? I don't need more press coverage so we need to find other people. Okay, let's go. Kind of all got stuck. Are we just trying to block in these people? I wish I could tell more about what type of person each of these were, or what was needed. I don't think I have more capital, so I'll just wait for this blockade to stop letting people in so that I get more stuff. I think I need to attack that. Alright, well, that's what these black blocks are. Attack a truck. That should be fun. Attack these people. Burn stuff. A pretty simple game. It's a very good start. Next. We're playing Speak Up, People Listen. So, how is school? Fine. That's nice. Eat your food in silence. Well, people aren't going to listen if I eat my food in silence. Do you have band practice today? Or is Mr. Larson still sick? Yeah, he was there today. Make sure you watch out. That flu's been going around. Do you want some travel hand sanitizer? Sanitizer. Sure. Eat your food in silence. Did you hear that Jamie won best trifold at the science fair last night? That's cool. I remember when you did the science fair, you looked so professional in your blazer talking about the different types of clouds. Do you remember that? Yeah. You and Jamie, the science fair siblings. That's cute. Eat your food. So are you going to vote for Trump still? Why wouldn't I? Does sexual assault not phase you? Excuse me. <laughs> that's, that's not a good question. Are you okay being grabbed by the pussy? Does sexual assault not phase you? Stop calling it sexual assault. He was only talking. He never I, he never did anything, and if he actually assaulted someone, that would be a different story. So, but he was talking about sexual assault. Well, there's nothing I can do about it. He said that, he said what he said in 2005, and I can't change it. That's not an excuse. There is something you can do, and it's straightforward. Don't be complacent. If a presidential candidate talks about sexually assaulting women, get fed up. Get angry. Don't act like it's okay. I refuse to be complacent. 
No longer accepting the things I cannot change. I'm changing the things I cannot accept. Let me leave the table. End of story. Passports. Here you go. How long are you here in Canada? Three days. Reason for traveling. Just wanted to get away. Any alcohol in the vehicle? No, sir. How do you... How do you all know each other? We went to the same school. Who's Jenny? That's me. Who's Karen? Passenger seat. Who's Lisa? Back seat. Lisa, could you please step out of the vehicle? For what reason? Just step out of the car, ma'am. I cannot let you back into America. She's lived in America for years. She's lived in America for years. You can't just stop her from getting back to her home. Please. Out of the vehicle, Lisa. End of story. Uh, this is kind of a grim game. Did you see that Obama banned the pledge in school? What? No. I definitely didn't. There's no way that's true. You're wrong. No, you're wrong. I looked it up. The article you shared isn't real. So what? So what? Yeah, so what? It doesn't matter. It's something that he would do. No, it isn't. Because he hasn't done it. So it's just no way. Yeah, but you can't know for sure that he won't. You didn't know the president personally, and you have no idea what he's going to do. Did he call you up and get your approval for bin Laden? That's beside the point. The point is you shouldn't share- The point is you shared fake news. And then an article that's a lie. Well, you can't expect me to fact check every article I read. I expect more from you. Wow. I'm not sorry. And yeah, don't share fake news. Gosh. I like how it's all like a bunch of different mini games. That's pretty cool. Ne next. We're playing clown. That was a nice little fade in. Look at that timing. All right. Coldport City. Ooh. The shining jewel with the carbon heart. They could scrub the glass and concrete, polish the brass, sweep the streets. But they'd never get that coal dust out from under their fingernails. It was the summer of 1933, the summer we found out just how dark that heart could get. At the center of Coalport City was lodged the focus of a festering tension, the suburb of Westchester, a city of warmth, a city of merriment and music, a city of clowns, comedy destined for tragedy. Anthony Cavallo, they called me Tad, a veteran of the Western Front, now a private eye, and a clown. And in this city... What an interesting combination, a private eye and a clown. That meant I wasn't much. Okay. Alright, so I guess I'm reading now. Santa's Bakery over on 14th had the best apple fritters in town. We're not talking about some sticky lump of dough with a few bits of apple stuck in it. We're not just talking about a delicious and satisfying pastry treat. Jimmy Santos' apple fritter was nothing less than a fragment of heaven. How did he do it? Somehow, somewhere, in some forgotten mystic cave or maybe an ancient temple, high atop a mountain in Tibet, Jimmy Santo had learned to reach across the stars and steal a piece of meaning of the meaning of life. He sprinkled its essence in with cinnamon and sugar and baked it up fresh every morning, Wednesday and Sat every Monday, Wednesday and Saturday. This was my pilgrimage. Three times weekly I journeyed across Coalport City. I don't know what would happen if I ever failed to observe the right. I hadn't yet. I knew just that as long as I kept it up, life continued to have purpose. Hard times were a little less hard. It was Wednesday and I just hopped off the L train at the 36th stop, the closest the L got to home. I usually hoofed it from there. It was something of a, cl a cliche, I guess, a private eye in, khaki trench in a khaki trench coat. Well, these things get started for a reason, sometimes, and sometimes that reason is a fellow would rather not be recognized. I turned up my collar and pulled up my pulled my pork pie hat low. High rise apartment loomed over 36th street, but by the dimming light I knew the sun was giving up on the day. The sidewalks bustled with foot traffic, the street with puttering cars. This close to the L, people on the sidewalk moved about with observ observable ease. A mother and her two daughters paused to peer through the window of Faraday's dress shop. An elderly man in a clean suit held the door for a family on their way into the blue sky atramat. The fluorescent street lamps were new. Funny how things can change in the space of a few blocks. 
Ooh, so we get to decide. This is really well written. I like seeing just sort of the stuff on the desk. It all feels really nice. And the music and the sort of letterhead. Letterhead? The font. Wow. Looks really nice as well. Next. We're playing Facts and Futures. Check. Taking the source One, two. Yeah, yeah. Uh, can't okay. sustain this. Gonna dial the power back. You are gonna have to dig the signal out of the noise. Okay. It is important. My incoming signal. So I can change this. Attitude. We're trying to match it to that one. I feel like we've nearly got it. Yeah, okay, then D and F. To sort of match up the white with the colored ones. That's pretty much perfect. Ripple. L to this one. Bam. Ripple pattern locked. Okay, so J, K again. Look how nice it looks. Just sort of the colors together. Go. Look, the okay. world is in a bad place. We built this transmitter, special one. We being me and the other me's from other fractures. Okay. Anyhow, the machine is a Hail Mary. I don't even know if it works. Well, if I'm it nervous. does, my time is limited. Alright. This is really cool. So we're like discovering unbelievable things. Now we've got to um, sort of mess with two at the same time doesn't seem fun. We kind of need them to be kind of apathy about there. Kind of want to stretch them apart though. Yeah, they need to be stretched apart a bit more. The big ones and the little ones. There we go. Look at that. We are great. Awesome. Kind of understand what they do. Like this one makes them up and go up and down a bit more. This one sort of pulls them apart. Got it. Cool. Next, we're playing Queens, the Resistance Street. Okay. Can also type stuff for special attacks, but probably not gonna be able to remember those. Okay. We're beating up some skeletons who are holding library books, by the looks of things. Go that way, but... I mean... Hey, why are you... why are you fighting this... Whoa, I didn't realize I was defending. Okay. Ooh, I was really knocked down. Stop defeating my stuff and my statue's books. Ooh, I'm kind of caught. I like the graphics in this. I'm gonna die though very soon. Or my awesome rainbow sort of statue's gonna die. JK, 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 JK. Alright. Am I okay yet? <laughs> I need to get out, basically. Because I'm just kind of getting hit over and over again. Right. Go away. Stop fighting my statue. It's not fair. Alright, don't do ranged attacks unless you're farther away. I'm not doing that at all, though. So, Next. We're playing Haven. Okay. So am I guiding these people to somewhere safe? Ah, okay. I thought that was a door for whatever reason. Let's get in here. Should wait. Nope. Ah. 
I don't know why I thought to go through as soon as the light was there. I was figuring that I'd wait until it went away, but it didn't um, go away fast. <laughs> Come on, you guys are slow. I don't need to wait. You just need to be patient. Okay. Okay, let's go. I need to move, but I'm kind of stuck in the wall. Alright, there we go. More of you. Oh, goodness. Let's go, guys. Well, oh, stay, stay here. Gotta wait for that thing to go away. Well, everyone's shaking. I feel really bad. Oh, come on. Don't stand on top of each other too much. That one go away? Maybe. Nope. But we can... Oh! Crap. Ah. Uh, next.